All right, welcome to our weird trip. It is currently 9.25 a.m. We are in a quick trip. In Madison. In Madison. It's the weirdest quick trip ever. It's a little funky. Um, as you can see, they have gas things right in front of the store. Of the store. There's this giant, like, pavilion thing. And how about the other quick trip across the street? Yes. <laughs> it's very Wisconsin, I think. Yes. Put two quick trips across the street for me. It sure is. Each other. Now that we got our uh, solid and liquid encouragement, let's get going. Sunny Acres Farms. It's 76 degrees. It's a Saturday. It's beautiful out here. It's beautiful, which sucks. We're gonna get in, ride this coaster, and then leave. Yup. <laughs> I really like the look of this place. It's literally just like amusement rides on a park. <laughs> it's literally like a park. Nice. Pumpkin time is the best time. Only uh, $6 a ride, not too bad. Manual brakes. Just use the ride up to push you off. Ooh. Wacky worm one of two or three today. Those trims right there are passive. They're just springs. So cool. It's basically just a big ball of air that they sit on. It's cool that they surrounded it with sand though. That's a good idea. The beauty of childbirth. Ah, uh, get it? Cause, Cause it's the land of Lincoln. And it's a, and it, and it's a lot. The one adult attraction is the haunted barn. Uh, we're not doing it because we don't care enough. Um, but I mean, yeah, it looks like a real haunted barn. So that's it for uh, Sunny Acres Farm. It's a really cool place um, for kids. Uh, yeah. We definitely knew that. Their wacky worm is a wacky worm. Um, their rides are for kids. They're they're cool. It's cheap. Um, it would be really cool to take kids here for a few hours, get your pumpkins for Halloween. Um, but I mean. Yeah, on to, on to the next one. Here we are at Safari Land. It's kind of a cool looking exterior and some really generic music playing. Here we are in Adventureland. It's, it's pretty much a cool traditional arcade. It's an arcade, yeah. There's a drop tower. Oh yeah, Tiger Terror. Look at that. Dang.
nice. This is a really, really neat little coaster. There's a lot of laterals there and here, and that, I got airtight on that one on the third run. Yeah, exactly. It's really cool, and it's they did that dance party there. as you saw in the uh, POV. This ride, I believe, is also Wisdom Rides coaster, just like the uh, indoor one of the Knuckle Huds, and it definitely is very awesome. Yeah, this thing is a, it, it's really a good coaster. Just no, just a good coaster. I'd say it's a family coaster. It's not really a kiddie coaster, not with that airtime. Um, but it's still definitely a kiddie, like a family coaster. A whole family will enjoy it. But it, the, the lights look so cool. The music's pounding. And not I mean the- Not for people with epilepsy. The, no, not for people with epilepsy, that's for sure. Um, okay. um, but yeah. Lots of fun. On to the next one. Bye, Safari Land. It's been a great 20 minutes. All right. Well, we're at Benson Benson's Pumpkin Farm. It has Cost the vibe of the other place, except it's way busier here. And way busier, way bigger, this way more concrete. Massive. A lot more expensive to get in. The parking lot looked like a real stadium lot. Yeah, it's. Uh, they were using overflow lots. They oh, said yeah. they're nearing like capacity. Show that pumpkin patch. People just climb yeah. on. A lot of freaking pumpkins. Yeah, I didn't even know this place existed. Look at that line. <laughs> Here we are. SBF Visa in a barn. Looks really nice in here, actually. All right, first SBF Visa. Hopefully this is recording. Oh, reverse. I can connect it. Can't really see us. Yeah, you can. Oh yeah, it's you're just right. it's just the screen is very dark. Yeah. Whee! So that was the end of Ben Ben Sting, Ben Stingston's pumpkin yeah. farm. Uh, SBF Visa credit number one done. It was uh, pretty good. I mean, I think we probably waited an hour for it, but honestly, the wait wasn't that bad since there was shade, and you know. And I was able to go get food while he was waiting. In line, yeah, so it all works out in the end. I wanted to go see the new uh, expansion they have over there. They're adding like five new rides, uh, but no because we're running about a half an hour behind schedule and Great America closes its entrance cases at 8. Uh, so we got to get there before 8 and we still have two more parks to hit. See you at Haunted Trails Burbank. There's a new expansion down there. Um, that plane ride isn't even open yet, but it looks really nice. World's Greatest Chicken, White Fence Farm. What makes the world's greatest chicken? Is it also only a singular chicken? Huh. There's a fucking Kmart! Those still exist, apparently. For some reason. What is this? No, it's not! Why is there just... Fear? Is there a coaster? Yeah, pay attention. Um, Haunted Trails Burbank. Um, it looks pretty dead, so let's uh, get this credit. Actually, look how steep that is. This is a decent looking uh, go kart. There's an even smaller go kart track. This crazy cab thing is kind of funky. It's the SBF Visa vehicle 
literally just like on a turntable. Weird. This is minor mic, it's nice and small, nice and cute. Literally has what it be to two drive tires. This, it's so weird because you had to step over to get in. Yeah. yeah. I was born ready. Born to value. Oh god. Oh, it's gonna all out. Woohoo! This uh, harvest fair just across the way in the old uh, Kmart. Oh, we're doing it. Okay. Yeah, like literally, there's so many fucking rides and things here. There's a coaster in there, but it's a powered coaster, and uh, no way are we waiting in this line and spending that kind of money to get a half coaster credit. No fucking way. And now we're gonna head to Santa's Village. <laughs> final amusement park of the day well not final new amusement park of the day um uh, santa's village i've never been here um i missed out on rainier rush when it was here but that was removed in like 2013 um but there's two more credits here and some more stuff this will be fun and, yeah it's gonna be a little it seems like the most legit of a amusement park like stereotypically yeah so you know, uh, not just a janky ride set up in the middle of a pumpkin patch or whatever that's a cute looking entrance it's a really cute entrance. It's oh, funky that we're going. Welcome to Santa. Except it's Halloween, but it's Christmas, but it's Halloween. It's the but nightmare it's... before Christmas. <laughs> this is actually really cool. Coming near the back of the park here, it kind of starts breaking down a little bit, but I still like the architecture. That's cool. Little kids area back here, that's cute. Turkey wheel. And then this is the adult area kind of back here with the main roller coaster, the drop tower, and the other smaller roller coaster. This ride is called Super Cycle. There you go. Did you hear her? Hear what? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I like the dude <laughs> in a chair right there. Nice. They have this lake thing here. No way, this actually might be the exact same. I have to show that pond. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Got air time for the first time today. Nice. On well, the tiger ride, kind of.
this sea dragon gets really close to touching that tree. All right, well, that, this is us leaving Santa's Village. It's actually a really cute theme park. Yeah. Um, they're putting a lot of work into, uh, you know, updating their older rides and cleaning up things. Um, we actually had a really good time here. We spent like probably <laughs> double the amount of time here than we were expecting. Yeah, um, it's a, a lot of good fun stuff. Yeah, it's a really good children's park. Um, they could use with some more adult attractions, um, but obviously with Great America an hour away, uh, you know, they're trying to get a little bit more for the kids. Um, Different target audience there. Yeah. yeah. Um, but they, yeah, it's a lot of it. Everything looks good. Everything rides fine. Um, we had some weird maintenance things with the, uh, their uh, frisbee, but you know, whatever. Um, it, it was a really cool time, but uh, now we're going to go drive an hour to the aforementioned Great America, finish off our night, and then uh, drive back to Wisconsin. Yep. Yeah. up not letting us into Great America because it was so fucking busy. Um, so now we're at Quick Trip again, we're eating dinner and then we're diving home. Uh, yeah, bye. <laughs>